all right this is a nifty and daily chart as we discussed yesterday and uh, we are not looking for buy below one pipe just a minute let me change the color okay one five uh three eight zero somewhere like that here so this is the resistance line according to fibonacci extension so this is the a point and this is the b point and this is the c point and uh, somewhere there eight uh, d point all right this is the resistance line and another uh, 161 somewhere there all right so that is where we are not looking for buy uh, in that area and we was looking for buy after breaking this level but uh, today you can see price not able to break this level all right so uh, it is a probability to give a correction from this area so let's see in a small time frame uh, like h1 and now here i can see h1 chart uh, we have seen price uh, bouncing of 20 moving average bouncing of 20 bouncing of 20 right now somewhere there they are forming some bullish candlestick pattern but i am not interested why because these candlestick pattern are forming exactly just below this raised hand line so that is why i am not interested to take any position somewhere there so if price break this raised hand line so definitely i'll go for buy all right just i'm waiting to break this level uh that's it here now let's see some uh gainer stocks uh First here you can see this one power grid corporation. So let's just jump to power grid corporation. Okay. Alright, alright. Power grid corporation. Okay, this one. Alright, now you can see today price just uh here you can see they create a new high somewhere there all right and most of the people are thinking hey uh power git just uh, create a new high they are running after and let's go for buy this is the big mistake don't do uh don't do this all right so price never goes like a rocket do you think uh, it will pull up like that no price always goes like a wave all right so now you can see we have seen this they are running like a wave price create a high and it, it is a probability to pull back now let's see the small time frame how it should look like like 15 minutes here you can see uh, price uh, bouncing off uh, basically here uh, this is this 100 moving average bouncing of 100 100 100 and the price are too far from moving average 100 so it is a probability to pull back again so i'm not interested to take any position somewhere there all right so let's see here is it there any buy opportunity mm, another ongc no, ongc okay this one ongc let's see daily time frame okay ongc exactly near this raised end line uh, so let's see this is the raised end line have you seen and somewhere there we can use this one as a buffer all right this one as a buffer okay this uh we are using some zone here and in that case here you can see this one ongc they are running in a sideway have you seen they are running in a sideway this this is called sideway so basically i'm using option in that case and i use uh, iron condor right iron condor so who people bought my option course so they uh, know how we exactly use iron condor trading strategy what is the delta what is the strike price what is the uh, implied volatility uh high percentile whatever so we are using all right so, uh, so here you can see i wanna use some like uh, iron condor strategy and i'll collect the premium and then now most of the uh, people are thinking can i go for buy here so i'm not interested so once they break the level of one zero let's say seven uh, once price break so definitely i'll go for buy so basically what happened sometime let me show you 
something here. So, let us see uh, price are running like uh, creating new high after that they start running sideways and when price break this like resistance line this zone so price goes up all right so i'm looking for buy somewhere there so exactly it's happening here price goes up now they are running in a sideway like that and i can see this is the range market range so once they break so definitely i'll go for buy or uh, we are applying uh, iron condor uh, trading strategy so we are selecting somewhere there strike price and that will be our actual market range all right we are we are collecting the premium uh, let's see another stocks uh, tata steel let's see tata steel somewhere here yeah this one tata steel okay okay all right, Tata is still also running uptrend, clear uptrend. Mm. In that case, I'm looking for buy after breaking this resistance line. So this is the resistance line and I connect most recent swing point. And somewhere here, exactly price are running like that. All right, so basically I'm looking for buy after breaking this resistance line so somewhere there so now see a small time frame okay let's just jump to 15 minute okay now you can see they are running like that and in a small time frame according to the projection method and here you can see i'm looking for a breakout so in that case i'll apply breakout trading strategy above 711 uh, okay next uh, i can see this one hindalco so i hope uh, it's uh, running in the uptrend mm. okay hindalco where is the hindalco okay this one let me check it okay this one hindalco So yeah, now I can see I'm looking for buy somewhere there in Hindalco. Uh, now I can see in a large time frame they are running an uptrend. They are running an uptrend, and now I can see price are consolidating somewhere there, and this 20 moving average is act as a support. All right. So in that case, I'm exactly I'm looking for buy somewhere there. Now let's see in a small time frame. All right. Now I can see in a small time frame, it should look like different. They are running in a downtrend, and I'm looking for a breakout. This 200 exponential moving average. So definitely I'll go for a buy. Okay. So we have seen this one called pullback. All right. In the last time frame, and next NTPC. Uh, NTPC okay where is the NTPC yeah this one yeah okay this one NTPC now I can see NTPC uh, in a large time frame are still they are running a sideway but here I can see we have seen some bullish uh, candlestick pattern somewhere there all right here I can see this one uh, a bullish candlestick pattern so what I'll do here so I'm looking for buy after breaking this raise 10 line now let me show you this raise 10 line okay why is it important line uh, let me explain so we have seen hit and reverse hit and reverse hit and reverse hit and reverse and somewhere hit and reverse and now it's act as a support now it act as a resistance so we need a breakout so let's see in a small time frame like 15 minute here i can see they are running in a uptrend in a small time frame like 15 minute and you can see that was previous high point this one 
and already broke this high point somewhere there and we need a pullback and we need a buy confirmation somewhere there and we are looking for buy so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe and thanks for watching